after every training arc, training episode, whatever the training may be, you're always excited to see your characters implement that. And so like Kageyama to be able to serve Hinata whatever ball he wants, no matter the scenario, and for Hinata to be able to do whatever he needs to in order to make the scenario be best for his situation. It's just, I cannot wait for all these crazy things and puzzle pieces to align, you know? What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with Haikyuu, Season 2, Episode 7, called Moonrise. I cannot wait to catch up, making steady progress. If you guys know, I'm, I'm trying to grind through so we can even be more ahead than we normally are on Patreon, so if you guys want early access and the full length, consider checking out that Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and the updates, and if you guys don't want to support, Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could leave a like. And a nice comment down below it really helps push me out there into the algorithm. I really genuinely appreciate it. Last episode, we had Hinata getting some very good advice how to attack midair, how to do whatever he can in that little millisecond window that he is in the air from the great Ukai himself. Meanwhile, another great person to teach is uh, Oikawa, who helped um, Kageyama get a little bit of advice. Oh, sorry, my headset turned off. Um, both were learned that both Hinata and Kageyama learned that in the duel, not in the duel, in the combination of Kageyama and Hinata, Hinata has the power in that relationship. He is the ace, so he needs to control what's going on. So Hinata definitely got some more confidence. And Kageyama definitely took a step back. But let's hop into this episode. I'm excited. I'll see you guys in it. Okay. Summer one's always at Shinzen, so we're at Shinzen. There is Liev. Alright, there's everyone's favorite character, Bokuto. So I want to formally apologize. It's not I, I know you guys aren't gonna say I know you guys are gonna say I don't need to apologize, but I love getting my character names right. And so Aka I, I don't know how to pronounce it, Akashi, Akaashi, because there's two A's, is their setter and Bokuto, who everyone says, everyone in the comments was like, Oh my best boy, best boy Bokuto. I I can't wait. If you guys are hyping him up that much. He has to be awesome, you know? Yes, he's trying to do the drop-offs. And... He not that didn't even go for it. He's just more... He's just... Oh, was it? Damn it. Hey, we're still getting used to it. Yeah, it's gonna take more practice and experience. I think Hinata... That's what I was saying. Hinata was more taken back that Kageyama's molding to him. He, he's changing. I love that. Ooh, it's gonna take practice. Oh my god! He is so taken in by the ball that he's just whatever it takes. He's, he's able to adapt so quickly now. I love that. Yeah, he's way more calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> they both have their individual training. Oh yeah, everyone was training. Asahi, uh, Nishinoya, uh, Yama Yamaguchi, everyone's training. The jump serve looks fucking amazing. It was out. You're getting better though. We're in there. I love it. We we still we need improvement, but we're trying. I love it. <laughs> and then yeah, they were all working on combos as a squad together. <gasps> did a jump? Yep, yeah, same thing Watery did. Oh, he mistimed it. It happens. Bro, we're trying though. We're gonna evolve. That's the only thing that matters. We're doing it. We're getting shit on right now. But yeah, he knows. Nekomata knows. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm, I love how observant Nekomata is. He is insane. We're gonna have some amazing character development for Tsukushima. They've been foreshadowing it just by... Yep. Makes sense. It really is efficient, especially when all around are good servers, you know? Of course, Yamaguchi would love that. He's trying to be the serve guy. 
Suki is the only one not being, like, I don't want to say cooperative, but, like, he's not ambitious, you know? He's not, he doesn't have that drive right now. Uh, you can say, I was going to say, you could say no to your teammates, but it's kind of hard to say no to other schools, you know? <laughs> oh, everyone's been hyping this guy up amazingly. Alright, let's see it. He's genuinely tall. Jesus, he just sent that sucker. Oh my god. Oh, that was good. He's really good at aiming that. Like, he can snipe it. He's so good at faking him out, getting in his head. Nice. Nice, Kuro. Wow. Wow. He's good at playing that off. He's he is so good at putting on a facade. It's crazy. I don't think he's good enough because I think Kuro can tell he's putting on a facade, but he's definitely good at it. See, if this was anyone on his team, he'd be just mocking him, making fun of you know. The master of provocation. They're doing the combos. They're doing the quicks. He's doing his tosses. Okay, okay, the quick flashes, it, it, it's already making sense. Someone who is a lot more introverted, a lot more socially hidden, doesn't really let out a lot of his true feelings, stuff like that, you know? I, I know a lot of people like Tsukushima in real life, and that's a good question to ask. Why do you... Why do you put so much into a club if it's if it's only going to tear you up? I, I can't say. I'm obviously going to learn, but I just want to be able to, you know, process this. I might, my first initial guess is that Tsukushima's dad was someone very similar to our boys in the Karasuno Club, trying their hardest, working damn near 10 times more than you generally should, you know, like all day, every day, maybe at the cost of studies, maybe at the cost of anything else, potential opportunities in life all for it to not work out and to just make you suffer and resentful and hateful and spiteful in the end. And for him to see his father go through that, I'm just guessing at this point, but like, I could totally understand why Tsukushima would, would be like the way he is, you know, that's crazy though. Wow. This show another sprint. Hey, these, <laughs> I love how it just shows we're constantly losing. Like, we're getting shit on. But we really need this in order to change up a lot, you know, become winners. We're really getting shit on. Awesome. I love watermelon. I really do. Especially on hot days after you've been working a lot. <laughs> Even if you corner him into it. Hinata's the sun. Tsukushima's the moon. This episode's called Moonrise. All I'm saying. Yeah, she would recognize the name. 
pompous little shit. Is it his brother? I thought it was, I assumed it was his father, but it could totally be his brother. That would make sense why Psycho would know him. まあ、心は休まらないかな。まあ、おかげで俺も他の連中も火がついた感じだ。気をつけないと。また集中しすぎた日向に噛みつかれますよ。え。あは、よく見たいだった日向が日に日に成長するのを人一倍感じるんだろ